see means I have to do the chat on here. I haven't got I'm not that tech savvy. Two seconds. I will be with you. Right, so oh Heal myself. I don't need to heal myself. Um, two minutes. I'm just texting the mother. The mother's got to come first, otherwise she'll have a fit. What will you do? Good evening, Louise. Hello, the coin searcher. Hi Jack. Um, so I do believe these penguin coins are back on the site. Hi Judith. Um, hi David. So I'm going to show you these coins just in case you haven't seen them. Um, you probably have. But um, these can only be bought individually and there and there I thought they only had a hundred no um there's some more come in <coughs> but because of um them being territories coins the harder to come by so it's as and when they can actually get a hold of them we thought that that was the last um that we could get this is why now they're not being sold in sets this are being sold individually so if you haven't got them and i mean these are a beautiful set to get and i still can't pronounce uh one of them um because obviously um they're going to stop selling them to us. Territory's coins. Um, so you would have to go to the place itself to actually obtain these coins or know somebody or buy them via the internet, I guess, um, from somebody. I'm not sure if um, how much they are. Uh, I've been to Physio. Yeah, these are fault ones. Um, but I'm, from what I can um, gather, everybody's going to follow suit in regards to territories coins. Um, but while we have them, obviously, and they're only going to go up in price because they can't devalue it. However, if you haven't got them, I would suggest you go over and get them now while you can. Um, this is the Gen 2 penguin. Let's see if I can get a better. It's better from there, isn't it? Because somebody was had said previously, Guernsey and Jersey, they are not gonna sell us their coins anymore so the only way you will get them is if it's in pocket change and obviously with them being territories they're going to be harder to get a hold of this is my favorite one this one the rock hopper penguin Also, I can, what do people enjoy more on coin lives? Just talks bunk on normal certain dancers' coins. Um, what do people enjoy more? Yeah, what do you enjoy more? They're absolutely beautiful. And this is the macaroni penguin. I'm trying to get you a better... I know that is glare. 
on them. Hi Sue. I'm going to have to invest in a laptop at some point so we can be like loose women. This is, sorry, the king penguin. Yeah. Um, I think it just depends on what who was actually on uh, Coin Searcher as to what they prefer. Everybody is different. Everybody prefers different coins. Some people prefer old coins. Some people prefer the new ones, which are in circulation. Um, other people. I'm just interested in what comes like this. Um, it just depends really on your personal preference. I mean, not in the lives, just in general. Um, I can't even pronounce that one. I'm not even going to try. I keep getting. It, I'm sure I keep getting it wrong. Magellanic. Magellanic penguin. Magellan. 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 Mm -hmm. Magellan. Magellan. Why am I saying Magellanic? Magellan. I don't. I don't know. Billy Joe thinks it's Magellan. I don't the idea to be honest. Just gonna lang with us. <laughs> Just for the sake of it. Um I will get somebody to put a link on. Um <clears throat> I'm not actually Mage Magellan. Magellan? Magellan Penguin. I think. I've, I've no idea how you pronounce it. I really don't. It's M A G E L L A N I C. That's how you spell it. How you pronounce it. I've no idea. I think I need a little bit of an uh, English lesson. <laughs> Mag Elikan, Mag El Mag Elikan. Oh. <laughs> Somebody go and Google it. <laughs> Help a girl out. <laughs> um. Right, that particular penguin is a South American penguin breeding coastal Patagonia, including Argentina, Chile, and the Falkland Islands, with some migrating to Brazil where they are occasionally seen as far north as Espirito Santo in the most. There you go, a bit of history on the penguins. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually do something with these. Put them in a frame of some sort. So they're all together. Because I don't personally have a book for them. Um, but, like I said, there is... I'm going to see if I can log on here and put the link up them. They are the most endangered species. Hmm. Do 
Do you know, I'm going to have to probably listen to that being said. So I know myself. Um, I'm just going to see what he said. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Read the comments. <laughs> I can't believe it all. What happened to anything? What, what did you say? You said, Mum, come here. No, I said, Mum, that is. Oh, come here. Um. <coughs> yeah, right. I'll Sunday, I'll make Mum. Right, let's ask you a question, right? <coughs> Two seconds, Bridget. I'm going to see if I can. Um... Right, right, let's go there. What's my favourite food? Just answer it. Right. Two minutes, Billy Joel. Macaroni cheese. Yeah. Two seconds till I do this. I didn't do anything. I'm saying, but I'm going to put this link up. Because <laughs> there's no mods. I'm just finding this link for you. It's my first day at full time work. Well done, coin searcher. Let's see if this works. Um, you can try that link. Hopefully, it'll take you to. I'm going to have a look myself. Oh, go me. Evening, Malcolm. Um, right, coin searcher. I don't personally know who you are. Um, I don't know if you have modded on this channel before. So therefore, I am not going to give you a spanner. Unless I'm instructed to do so. Um, I will find out. Oh, there you go. Louise is on. Thank you, love. It's coming to the rescue. Um, can you what? What thing? <coughs> yeah, I was going to say, I know I've seen Louise, uh, sorry, Sue, but I didn't know whether she was just in the background or whether she'd just popped in. No. Um, right. What are my two favourite foods? Why am I talking about foods? Coin Channel, Billy No, what's um, my favourite coin? Yeah, it does £20 for the full set. Oh, well, there you go. Um, what? What's my favourite coin? I don't know. What is your favourite coin? Oh, God. Paddington? Gruffalo? Well, you've got to ask me one. And if I get it wrong, you get to tap me on the head. Um, Just do it, please. Yeah, our favourite coin was the Gruffalo, and that's why I got a whack on the head. The Gruffalo, oh, what was it? Said now. Well, you whacked it on the head, so I surmised that that was what. No, you said pudding, so I tapped you on the head. I don't whack it. Well, tapped you on the head. Mm. sorry, tap was on the head. Um, do you have many coins, coin searcher? Oh, 
parent abuse. Yeah, it is parent abuse. However, I don't think... I can actually do anything about it. I've just got to put up and shut up. Um, sorry, two minutes, people. Divine drama queen. <sighs> right, we need some ideas from you guys. I'm about to lose my patience. Right, we'll go to bed. Um, as to what you would like to see going forward on this channel. Uh, we do have a couple of things in the pipeline, but some of them are top secret for now. Um, however, it would help us CJs if we knew what interests you so we could actually show them coins or talk about them coins um we do have a raffle on at the minute which is a very important raffle um all pro proceeds are going to terminal children which is five pound a ticket um Payable via cash only. No um, vouchers, no codes, no points. More hunts, live streams, general advice and help with coins, etc. Um, fire away if we can help in any way. Um, obviously, we have to go and get... Um, I'm quite new to this. Um, Dave, do you have many coins or will I show you some coins? <clears throat> Been collecting for a few weeks. How is the hamster? Well, he hasn't come out of his um, cage from home. He's all right. <laughs> I have all the 50p's. Do you have the two pound coins? I only have a few territories coins, um, but I will get on and get some new ones. Well, what I can what I can get, I will get. Um, apart from the Commonwealth, Scotland and Ireland, yeah, I think you're going to have to um, pull out for them ones. I didn't get Jane Austen. I've got Jane Austen. In oh you. I'm surprised because, was she even circulated? Hi Liam. Because I do believe she wasn't circulated. And I've lost Jane Austen. Oh, I have enough sand up. That's how I've got her. Yeah, I thought it was um, not intended for circulation. So, somebody's actually took that out and spent it. Okay, Louise. I also got the new queue and the other four in this set from my till. What other four? Are you talking about the Paddingtons? Roger Bannister. I was <laughs> broke up my eyebrows. The re-releases, all right. 
because I don't think any of the coins apart from the Paddington's have been released. Oh, sorry, because and we put the Gruffalo's out. So if you manage to come across a Gruffalo, hopefully it's been one of ours. I'm still waiting for um, my Roger Bannister that I won on the um, Facebook app. Q Roger Bannister Guide Scouts 50p's. Yeah, um, the Scouts are, I believe, are becoming rarer to find. I found a Peter Rabbit. What year, Peter Rabbit, did you find? Coin searcher. What bun coins do I have? I have... Um, I forgot a name. Jim Austin. Jim? Jim? Jane Austen. These were 2019 Qs. Yeah, I think somebody's, I don't think any were put into circulation, from my knowledge. I was going to say, if anything, yeah, would have been a limited amount put into circulation. I have Peter Rabbit. Obviously, this is, um, I'll open it up. I have a few of these. Oh, just notice there's a dragonfly on the back. This is <clears throat> the 2019 one. But I do have the older one. Hi Jack. Going backwards. I do have the Stephen Hawkins. I love this one. This is a comment known they weren't. Wasn't an answer to you, by the way. NFI, NFI, Snowman, Gruffalo, Stephen Hawkins, Peter Rabbit, New Fifty Pence, Roger Bannister, Guide Scouts, all in the till. Um. Yeah, this is a fab one. This one, the Stephen Hawkins one. Well, I don't think. The, the Peter Rabbit, if it's a 2019 one, um, could possibly be one of ours. Um, the Gruffalo, somebody else has put it into circulation, if it didn't have a letter on. I know the Peter Rabbits didn't have letters on, but the Gruffalo does. These are certainly not coming out of the bunk. Definitely not. Because it's too good a coin to take out. If I had two, I would take one out. But I don't. I only have this one. So it's staying in its packaging. And of course you get inside, explains all about the black hole. So as well as getting a coin, you're also being educated. However, Warren does like to take his out of the packaging. For some reason or another. A 
Frankenstein, which is one of my favourites. And again, on the inside, it gives you information about Frankenstein himself. But, with all my package too, that I had to, I would take one out. Yeah, Frankenstein is absolutely fabulous. I love this coin. In fact, do you know what you should do, guys? Is get yourself over to the Great British Coin Hunt and get yourself some cufflinks to flash off. I'll show you some cufflinks that have been made from coins. I do have a set. Or tell somebody you want some for Christmas. Ideal Christmas gift. These are. Obviously these are 50 pence ones. Um, this is the Tale of Gloucestershire. And it is actually cufflink. But it is a 50 pence piece. Even if you just had them for special occasions. Flash your bling. Look at mine. And they do come in a lovely presentation box as well. Bus fare home at the end of the night. Well, I wouldn't like to think I'd destroyed them. I think I'd walk. I'd rather walk. Then I have the snowman, which is a new snowman. I don't have the 2018 one. I missed out on that one. That's the, I didn't, Louise, we didn't remind Warren to post the, the card. And inside it tells you the tale of the snowman which are fabulous for kids because what child doesn't know about the film The Snowman good I hope we did um, And then I have the Gruffalo. There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. And he's fab for kids. We even have the books. And I did a giveaway as well which was the Gruffalo coin and the Gruffalo books. See, you can all set some child up with a collection. And of course, you can go across to the Great British Coin Hunt and buy this 
with a certificate of authenticity with the coin. This is a territory's coin. And this is from Gibraltar. Hi, John. This is Father Christmas from Gibraltar. He's going to hang on my tree when I'm finished it, that is. Because my stepladders are at my sons. But what a fab gift to put on a tree. And they come in different versions, these ones do. Cards, baubles. That's meant to be a bauble. Um. <gasps> oh, Louise, you were right. Go on there. Sorry, I was um, distracted by something, um, and it was a, it's a coin I'm after. About the Diana coin. I'm sure it was you that said it. I have to go on the side and get myself it. And I do have the Gruffalo's child. Not the Gruffalo's child, well, I call it the Gruffalo's child because it's the second Gruffalo coin. And right in that corner there is the little mouse. Just right there. He's fab as well. And then, of course, I do have Gruffalo like this. But again, it's just down to your preference. Um, Much. It is, and it's much more detailed, um, the second Gruffalo, than what the first Gruffalo was. Uh, but again, it's a beautiful coin, and it's a shame that they don't put them in circulation um, for people to find in the pocket change. And this is why Ian and Bungle Collects do what they do. In order for people to actually find them in the change and we couldn't do it without your help I mean, I know these are not for everybody, but I will show you. Uh, Hi, Steve. These, these are often overlooked. Which are crowns, 
can't. Hang on, I'm going to have to move this lamp because I'm not getting much light here. Oh, that's my knees. Can I stand up there? Yeah. Watch me knock it off <laughs> and smash it. Oh, let's just to see if I can get you a bit more light. Winston Churchill. This one celebrated Prince Charles and Lady Diana's wedding. Elizabeth and Philip. More Lizzie and Philly. Queen Mother I've got their divorce crown <laughs> Eh Louise, I swear I've got you crack me up woman This one? I can't even remember. What even is that one now? I can't even remember what this one is now. My mind's gone blank. I hope you on StreamYard. I've got a nice silver proof Diana case limited edition of 500 and show you it on my stream later. Because I'm doing it on a tablet, Steve. Um, I don't know whether StreamYard would actually work on here, so, or not. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to invest in a laptop at some point. Um, but it's not top of my priorities at the minute. Um, uh, but I will join in after I'm a celebrity and have a look at your coin <laughs> but yeah how about a Louise coin um no not sure if I showed this one or not um it's just obviously in memory of Princess Diana. But I do like these ones. I do like the coins. I mean, imagine taking them shopping. I'm in the matter. A canny noise like. I'm impressed. Sitting in your counting house counting out your money. That's quite a um a size that. Imagine um, carrying a bag of them round. You know what I'm saying? Taking them to Asda and buying you shopping. <laughs> There's a 50 pence. And I think that's, I do believe they're 25 pence a crown.
suppose if you swung a bag around, you'd be there, uh, you'd be able to stop some mugger. Why? What are you doing? Just sit there. Take the dressing gown off, you're not burnt, you're not uh, heat up. I've been doing it all day. So, your collection is down to your personal choice. Um, however, All double florin equate to 20p coin in 1800s. That was a view too. I haven't actually got a florin. Mum, mum. I need to get some more old coins. Yes, yes, yes. It's a. Five days to the first. I have a double tailed penny. Yeah. Not pence, this is pennies. Uh-huh. Well, you can't really see it. I'm going to have to, um. So is this? See if I can... Oh, this is penny as well. That's this penny. Oh, there. That's better. If I tip it like that. Heads are win, tails are you lose. See what old ones I've got. I do like the old coins. Threatening bit. I remember my grandparents talking about these coins and not believing that they were actually real. Obviously, when they are oh, tuppence, threepenny bit, sixpence, florin, shilling. But personally, I like the old coins. This is a shilling. That's a Scottish shilling. Answering the mother. Or you could have a coin like this. 
However, don't bet your children. They can't do it. Otherwise, you'll be 20 quid down. Oh. Taking the middle out of the coin. The middle out of a £1 coin. I bet my son. I said, um, just off on a whim as I was walking out the door. And he was saying, I bet you could put that through. And I said, I bet you can't. Anyway, off I goes. Does whatever I need to do. He sends us a message. Mum, <clears throat> I've got in the middle of the coin. I said, what do you mean you're getting the middle of the coin? I'm thinking, ah. He says, I have. He says, I've got the middle of the coin. You owe us 20 quid. I know, he just he won't leave us. He won't leave us, Scott. So anyway, it comes through the door and he said, there you go, ma'am. You owe me 20 quid. So I had to give him 20 quid. Don't bet your children. I don't know how he'd done it. I don't even think... I wouldn't even like to try and get it back in, to be honest. It doesn't even fit back in. Probably have to have to be hammered back in. And I don't think it would uh, align... I don't think Lizzie would be all happy either. This is a territory's coin. Scott, I've even got Katie on the way to join Kevin. Oh, what am I gonna, where am I going to put them? This is an Isle of Man 2P. 2002. I've got way for me to earn a fiver now. Yeah, another big one, Scott. The size of that one. Mum, you get two tries. Mum, you get two tries. I bet you... Right, never mind. What comes next? But you can't write the letter E. You got two tries. In a minute, I will. This is for me. If you don't get these right, I get a fiver or a pound. You can pick. Right. You gotta try. You gotta write. Two minutes, Billy Joe. No, I mean like one. Uh, well, I'll do it after. Not after the live. Mhm. Mm well, why would I want to do A B C's? Mm, it's not E B C. Well, what is it? Right. How is that coin related? Because I get to earn money. You get to earn money by me. Yeah. So say this, what comes next, but you can write E. Well, it will be F. You write what you think would be there. You got two tries. Just try. E, B, C, D. You can't use an E. What will come next? Come on, help us out, guys, otherwise I'm going to be a five down here. What yeah. comes next? E, B, C, D. You can't use an E. You've got ten seconds. I've got ten seconds. Are you having a draft? No. Right, hang on. Think about it, Hannah. I'll give you 20. Uh, what comes next, but you can't use an E? I'm only good at mine, Jesus, and I can't think. <laughs> 13. E, B, C, D, you can't use an E. 15. E, B, C, D, you can't use an E. 20. I don't know. I'll have to give you a fiver. I have told you to use the pen. 
Use the, yeah, but you said you can't use. I'm drawing F to make an A. I didn't write the letter A, I wrote F. Fiber. Really? Fiber. Seriously? Seriously? Colour fiber, please. <coughs> well, I suppose it's one way of getting money. <coughs> However, I'll not be doing that again. There you go. There's one for you. Win somebody for coins. I bet you're Peter Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what comes next. <laughs> I'm, the answer's already on there, too. So. I'm just saying. These. Yeah, and the tribe brings us me purse as well. <coughs> I mean. <laughs> if I haven't got five pounds, you can't. In change, you can't have it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah Andy, it's too late now. She's already rinsed as a five pound. Well, don't even bother telling Cameron. <clears throat> oh, here, yeah. I'm going to be skint in a minute. Now he's going to come down and say, I want a fibre. There you go. We're having a debate now. He's probably going to go and have a look for something to see how he can rinse me out of a fibre. <sighs> Just cut. Kids. I'm true to me words with them. That was... Do you know when I think about... How easy was that? How easy? I'm going to have to try that on somebody. I am. I don't like being rinsed off your kids. However, I hope she's using that five pound to buy me some coins. <laughs> Seems like I've just lost coins. Right, so. Can I just come and get a fiver off you? No, he's not coming to get a fiver off us. Go around there. No. Oh, you, do, you don't like leave pudding anyway. You're right. Um, you just have to wait till I'm finished at 8 o'clock and then I will make something mm -hmm. to eat. If you don't want to wait till then, feel free to use the kitchen. However, leave it as you find it. Yeah. And I love this one. What's A that half one? penny. What? A half penny. I don't know what that means. Half pence? It's half of a penny. Half penny. Right, this is a penny, Cameron. What's a penny? Then mind what's a penny. Right, I see right. a penny. Yeah. I will not and buy this This is tree. half of a penny. Hold on, let's have a look. You go to. But ma'am, the issue with this is. She'll come it's in. It's not in. half the size of a penny. But it's still half a penny. <laughs> see, I've got a bad throat, so I can actually wheeze now when I make my hoops. Bad jokes. Okay. But look, hey. but ma'am, that's half the size of that. Come on, can you get that on A, B, C, D, you cannot write E. What's the next thing? What? A lot? What? Okay, can I, this is how I've just 
but obviously half cases these. are not in circulation anymore. But you had two of these, That's obviously, cute. to make mm -hmm. one of these. Well, yeah. One thing. Uh, because you can't no. And this one. Has so my right date of birth on. Right See you later, Judas. Well, be serious, come on. Fourteen point five. Right. There you go. That's my answer. Yes, not D and a half. D and a half. It was. <laughs> nice try, Gammon. My answer. D and a half. What was your answer? B C D. I didn't. I didn't answer at all. And so that's how I got rinsed of a fiver. I did just say F. Yeah, but you have to write it. You've got to write it. Yeah, you've got to write it. Yeah, yeah. I said so it F. Like e. So what? So when I got rinsed. Because Mum didn't even bother to write it either. Well, no, I didn't bother to write it. Well, it was F. I said F. If anything, you was. Right, two seconds. Two. Well, if, you, if we were going by that logic, couldn't I have just done a lowercase F? Oh, well, I've never put a little swap at the end. Mm. Yeah, that would have gone. Ding. Well, I've just clocked how to win a game. I don't know how to win anything. Because if the goal isn't to write E, I'm just write F. One, two, three. Right. I have a coin on the loose. Is it that half a penny? I know. It's like no. half the size of a penny. How can you find it? <laughs> it's um, a Paddington this Ooh. time. Paddington's on the loose. It was a Gruffalo the last time. We've done a run Ah, oh, there he is. So, Paddington's started out like this. Paddington of Buckingham Palace. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Paddington. At the train station. at the Tower of London. And we were saying earlier, I personally have not seen many of these up here now, well, well where I'm from. Um, so I do believe they're becoming more scarce than what they originally were. Especially the first ones. Hi, Andrew. And this one was the last one at St. Paul's. But I haven't seen a Buckingham Palace or a train station one for quite some time. And in fact, I need to have a look and see if I've got an extra one at the Buckingham Palace and an extra one at the train station because I did give a St Paul's and a Towers one to a lovely old lady I know, Audrey, who and have a lovely little chit chat to on a
when I pop to the shops. So it was £162 for them all night, all in the bank. All the bank had it. Wonder why they're not, um, towels. Um, oh, have another train station. I was going to say, Scott, it might be worth. No, you can't really, because it, yeah, you have to. No, I think for new business accounts, you get it so long free. And then you've got to start paying for it, I do believe. I had a business one a while back. Train station. However, I do believe um, you can get somewhere you don't have to pay. Depends on the bank, I suppose. No, I just make one up, man. You're gonna. I don't know. Draw blogs and his window cleaning business. That's a fab coin and all. I should have had that in a bunk. I if I would still get it. For Isaac Newton. See if I can get out. I'm pointing at the palace. I know this may sound silly, but do you need to have a business, have a business account to the need proof? Um, I can't actually say off the top of my head. Um, but it was years ago when I had um, a business account. And I'm sure I got it um, free for so long. And I can't, I can't remember now. I'm going back about 20 years. I don't know what the rules are now. Probably have changed. Um, obviously, they're becoming a, obviously more stricter. Um because of money laundering and whatnot, I would hazard a guess at. Um, well, we'll just have a little game of guess the coin. Just random coins and test everybody's knowledge. So, I'm going to show a coin, and you can tell me, and this will help the new ones, if they haven't got them, what these coins actually are. 
Um, but if you're new to collecting, oh, I'll show you another Territories one. Do you have? And this is a 20 pence piece. Get this right again. Let's see if we can get a. It's not a 50p, Andrew. It's a 20p. It's a 20p from. I can't even see myself. Ballywick of Guernsey. And I'll tell you what else to look out for on a 20p. You're looking for certain dates because of low mintage. Um, and in 1992, 20 pence a piece with a smaller queen on. Two thousand and eight, twenty p's. Can't even see the date. I'm not again. I don't even know where my magnifying glasses. Nineteen eighty five, twenty p. Not sure about that one. I don't know if I've just kept it. That's another 2008. Two seconds, I'm just going to get a book. Or is it? Hang on, I'll just double check this one. What? Well, if you feel sick, go to bed. Right, I'm just going to pop and get that book, and then I can tell you what 20p dates to look out for. Yeah, because he sat with a whopping fleecy dressing gown around Billy Joel. Oh. Right, you are actually looking for, in your 20 pence pieces, 84, 85, 86 was a proof year, 91, 92, which is, the 92 is the head and the crown are smaller. That's the one that you're looking for in 1992. The 2008 Tudor Rose and the 2008 Shield. A 20p with keys on. Look, is that a territory's coin, Andrew? Hi, Javid. My nose is always cold. And this coin, two seconds where I'll find it.
Where is it? Do you know when you've just had your hands on it? I really need some organisation. I'm looking for coins that you can actually find either a difference on which is rather than where we I can't even speak English. Why are you really doing? Lost it. There it is. Right, if you find one of these, and it's dated, sorry, she's upside down, 2009, it's actually twice as rare than a Kew Gardens. Because if it has 2009 on it, it means that it has been popped out of its bunk. Because the 2009 ones were designed by a Blue Peter winner. And there was only 100,000 put into circulation. So if you find one of these dated 2009. It is twice as rare than a Kew Gardens. Hi Katie. Gibraltar. Um hang on. I've lost this chat. I have a twenty few keys on looks cool if I I think so. Yeah. I would it's not one of ours, but I'll keep a hold of it because the Gibraltar of oh the um territories coins we are obviously gonna they're going to whittle out and we're not going to be able to get them. So if I was you, I would get over to the greatbritishcoinhunt.com and buy all the territories. This coin, there is four different versions of. Billy Joe, who are we talking now? Billy Joe! I have no idea who she's talking to. Yeah, but there is four different variants of the Battle of Britain. Again, this one says GSC. Just here underneath the Queen's neck. If you find one that says IRB, it has been popped out of a bunk. Um, and I can't remember what, what off the top of my head what the other two are. Um, there's no, I'm not going to say that because we look full. Um, but yeah, that's the two that I remember off the top of my head. On this. Oh, it's the obverse. So that's this. 
This is the obverse. So there's four different variants of the queen. This is a territory's coin. And it's from the from Guernsey again. And then one of the top Olympics to find is the offside rule. Which has become quite a favourite. I think it might have um, actually, yeah, it is the most wanted. I think it's actually knocked. Do you mind? I'll put a duck down a bit. I haven't got that um, numbers to hand. But yeah, it's quite a good find. And if you're lucky enough, you'll find all the Olympics. Oh yeah, that's the other one uh, on the Battle of Britain. There's a ghost on it. Is there a ghost on it? I'm sure there's a ghost on the Battle of Britain. Sure. Please, Billy Joe should play with the dog. Somebody who's poorly. I think somebody's going to school tomorrow. So, let's put a bit of fun in this. Let's see off the top of your head if you know what this one is. Anybody want to take a guess? No? I'll tell you, it's archery. Um, if you would like to go over to the Great British Coin Hunt .com, and there is a Christmas tree raffle, which is uh, all proceeds go to the, oh God, Donna's Dream House for Terminally Ill Children. Um, it is payable via cash only, card only, sorry. Um, yeah, all raffles are cash only. No vouchers, no codes, no nothing. Code hauled cash because this particular one, Christmas tree one, is going to charity for terminally ill children. But you can win some absolutely fantastic prizes um anything from a pink rabbit to a silver proof to old coins to new coins all kinds of coins that's the link for all the raffles <laughs> 
Come on, Louise, keep with the program. <laughs> and there's a battle of the raffles, and I've got to win it. Sorry, sorry, all the others. I've got to win this battle of the raffles. Yes, and please make sure you read the raffles thoroughly. Um, but if we sell out a raffle, we'll draw it. And if there's a pit, put my teeth back in, a particular coin you would like to see auctioned off because we do have access to some coins. Um, I need to get a list. Warren was meant to send us a one. However, he's busy with Ian. Um, so I think he's forgot. He was meant to send us one before my stream went. Um, so I'm just out on a limb here. Um, so, if there's anything anybody would like to talk about, or, you know, give us CJ's a hand. Still, still looking for IRB and JC and normal, which you would find in change are you doing the coin hunt with your mum Katie tomorrow I don't know why I've got this wrote down. 2017 Shield. 2009, 10, 11, 16 Shield. So some coin, but I forgot to write down what coin it is. <laughs> I'm about as bright as a blackout. Oh, and not forgetting, we also have, um, if you would like to contribute towards charity as well, we have Warren in drag at the Mint. However, that's only going to be possible if we can raise £250 for a mental health charity. Again, I think it will just be suing Scott. One of those years are for the 50p shields, I think. I can't remember, Alison. Um, I just, I think I've wrote them down. Obviously wrote them down and I've been in a hurry. Um, and I've just got 2017 shields. So, God knows. Um... We, I'm not sure if we're doing the um, penny ruffle on the first either. Hmm, that's something else I'll have to uh, ask about.
Christopher Cluck says those years. For 50 peas. Um, it must be 50 peas. They were enough. And not in terms of circulation years, 9, 10, 11, and 16, and 18. Oh, right, so that's 50p, Scott. I wonder if that's why I've stuck it underneath Battle of Britain. Knowing that that's a 50p. And then completely forgot why it actually wrote it. little notes everywhere about different co and honest to God. seriously I need some organisation big style I'm going to get myself organised one of these days don't count on it though I'll not be in a hurry I like me um, an organised chaos Yeah, I'll write next to it. 50 peas. <laughs> 50 peas. The hamster hasn't actually came back out and I don't want to disturb him. Um, but I did try and bathe his eye last night. And he ate the cotton bud instead. So, that didn't go down too well. However, I'm hoping, do you know when they go like that and they clean themselves? I'm hoping that obviously when he's done that with the water, he's cleaned his eye. Um, but I won't know until he actually has a little wander out later on. If it's still like that, tomorrow I'm going to take him down to the vet and see what they can do um, for him. But it's just waiting for him to wake up and coming out of his little bed. It's always red hot in here, Alison. Um, it's got to be because of my joints. Um, I don't do the cold. I seriously don't do cold. Um... I am concerned about him. Let's see if he's not um when he comes out if it's not good then I'll be popping him to the vets in the morning. And seeing how he is blessing. I just need to check this coin I learned that. I buried mine alive thinking it was dead. It wasn't. It was hibernation. Look, it woke up. <laughs> 2001.20p. I'm just having a look. 
see. One. I would have kept I would have kept a two thousand and one twenty pence. No idea. No idea. Twenty pence, two thousand one coin from the United Kingdom. The British twenty pence, twenty p coin, often pounds twenty p. Coins issued in two thousand one. Twenty pence, two thousand one. We've got high mintage. Was that not intended for circulation? I don't know. I don't know. Billy Joe, that's gonna be wick. Billy Joe, you got to screw tomorrow. I'm just going to check this coin and then I'm going to go and um, Right Two small head coins thought to be scarcer than larger head, but the information would seem to imply that the large head coins were the coins that were circulating large numbers did not go into the earth such an hour or other to find. Ah. What, Billy Joe? That's yeah, yeah, mine would be if I was rolling around the kitchen floor with a dog. I was not only sitting. Yeah. I'll sit with them when I don't feel well. Mommy, you know I do. I don't want to nod your head on the camera. Because you know I do. Which way you've just gone on there? I'll play with uh -huh. them. I'll play this back. Yeah, right. I'll play with them. And you can hear, yeah? Yeah, I was laughing and playing with them. So you feel fit school? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right. 
fluffin. We seriously need some new ideas as to what to do on these streams because you sit and watch me, me sit and waiting for you um, to comment sometimes can be very hard um, for us to sit and actually do. Obviously, we are aware of what you want to see, what you would like us to talk about. It would make sitting here till 8 o'clock a lot easier. Because we run out of things to say, we run out of things to show, we run out of things to do. And we can only badger you about the ruffles for so long before you get sick and do a runner. It's a pity you're not in StreamYard or I would have joined you. Uh, Scott, I have a bit of a problem with that because I'm doing it from a tablet. Um... Or, if you want to take over, um, I'm more than happy for you to take the reins and I can jump on your stream yard if you want to do that. Um, but I have to invest in a laptop sooner or later. I don't know how to do it on the tablet. I don't know whether a tablet would actually be powerful enough to do it. I know I can jump on stream yard. On this tablet but I don't know if I can host on a tablet that's my problem and I haven't tried yet um, and I wouldn't like to because I don't know if it's gonna crash and not work halfway through um, but <coughs> I need to have a go at some point I need to have a play around and see if it does actually work and if it doesn't work well, then I know I need to go and invest in a laptop. Um, because it does become a bit hard when you sit and talk to yourself. I don't think you can on the tablet, it didn't work for me, I don't want to take over from you, it's your stream. It's fine Scott, um, I mean, I don't have a problem with it, um, it's not sort of, I mean, like I say, I'm quite happy for you to take the reins um, and I'll jump on alongside you, if that's easier. Um, Because, like I said, it, it does become very hard when you're sat and you're sort of, you've, you're running out of coins, you're running out of things to say, you're repeating yourself constantly. Um, and obviously that's not what this is about, constantly repeating ourselves. We're, we're trying to bring the fun back in. Um, I'm going to have to go to the bank at some point and do um, a coin hunt again so it passes the time away and makes it easier so I don't mind jumping on with you if you want to take the reins If you are capable of, that is, not capable, I know you're capable of. <laughs> I mean, if you have the time, 
Not if you're capable. <laughs> Doing good, honey. Thank you, Louise. Um, but like I say, it just just get a bit. Um, Scott is jumping on now. Champion, just tell us when he's on, uh, Sue, and I'll come and jump on his stream. If Scott goes lively, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, because it does get a bit hard when you're sitting here, um, and you run out of things to say. So it is easier when you when you. I mean, I, I do understand. Streamyard, right? So he's on. Um, go over and join Scott, and I will go over and join him myself, and we can chat a bit more. So I'll see you over there. You'll end up talking to yourself. <laughs> I think I'd well. well we can only try, Lu uh, Sue, I was going to call you Louise there. Yeah, it is a quiet shift and it's sort of, it, it's draining. He's not quite there yet. Um, right, well, if he, like I say, you just let me know when he's on. Um, and I should get a message to say he's on. Yeah, I'm, I'm hanging fire. But according to my son, my laptop that he has won't run StreamYard. See, so that's when you get better sense. Have you taught it yourself? I should get a notification telling us that he's on. And then when he goes on, Oh, there you go. Right. Over to you, Scott. <laughs> 